Hey guys and gals, let's build tiny plants from the Botanical Collection by Lego Icons. This is set number 10329, contains 758 bricks. And this set was provided by the Lego Group for early review, and it's for 18 years of age and up. So I think we're safe to say that, well, I can build it, obviously. I don't know the retail price of this set yet, so basically we are essentially going to be building several types of plants. So I'm assuming that this is building guide number one. And let's take a look at the manual here. Your usual stuff. And I don't have a lecture nearby. Well, yes, I do. We will put that right here. You know, this time I, I got my game together, huh? <laughs> Uh, probably the creator there and uh, Fed Bonner Lego model designer cultivate your creative finger oh. and tropical plants and yes yeah, so this gives us a little little bit of history on these and I'm not used to using this type of method that I'm using now because I got this bright light in the way and all that stuff. So here we have the false shamrock, lace leaf. I think we've seen that before. And jade plant. Okay, so I think that's what we're building in here. And I'm assuming that's what these are right here. So, well, <laughs> it's a late night on it's a late night build. I had one person that kind of complained about why do I do these late at night? W O R K. It doesn't spell fun. It doesn't spell video games. All right. It just starts right in here. Now this book here, obviously, and I'll show you here. One to three people can build this. I'm sure probably more, depends on how it's divided up. So like bag one does this, bag two does that. So I think we're ready to go here. Okay, and then bag one is already keyed up. I don't know if I'm gonna do these all in one sitting or am I gonna break these apart, I don't know yet. And the whole thing of this build is to, well, my style here is to see how the build goes and see if it's something that's interesting to put together. And yeah, and I'm using a different, I'm not using the ring light, I'm using the floodlight. And I still need to come up with a bracket to hold the microphone to the bracket here. So the microphone could be like right here and I can talk into it versus having it over my shoulder. That's why sometimes I sound kind of muffled. <laughs> All right, so it's like, what's today? The 17th of October, 2023. And it's like 1.40 in the morning and I got everything done. I still got to do some evaluations and all that other boring stuff, but I'm about two thirds done with that. <laughs> And counting down the days until I am off and having my turkey dinner, which is like five weeks away, I believe. Okay. This is a new piece right here. I, I, I don't know. I've never had it before. So to me, it's new. And then this just snaps in there. Well, it seems pretty high, but that's what it is. So I think our little plant fits in here. And I'm hoping this is going to be a very pleasant build. I've built a few of these before and they're not that bad. So I always used to snub my nose at these type of sets, but well, they're not too bad here. Here's a little thing for you guys and gals who are following my tutorials and what have I been up to. I have three tutorials left for the end of the year. One of them I had figured out except, well, I didn't have enough pieces to finish it, so I had to postpone once. I got to move on to another project. And I don't even have the parts in the right color. I don't even have the parts, so I have to 
order these parts. Oh, there we go. Now everything's starting to snap in place. It looks like a little flower pot. There we go. So I've been trying to get a lot of stuff done today. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. Not a whole lot. I uh, had another person on my main. Why are my hands all cut up? I've been doing some renovations, replacing dry rot around the house, uh, rearranging the supposedly late future Lego room, but I'm trying to make space for parts that I normally don't use. So that's kind of what I'm doing. So everything is here in this room. And then we can just have the parts that we need here to make the bigger stuff. And yeah, you got to put a bunch of little purple butterflies all over the stem thing. That's what they look like. Like little leaf pieces. And this sits in here. All right, we got something to read right there. At a glance, Aurelis tangularis could be mistaken for a large group of bu butterflies. What better way to capture this plant's iconic look than by using Lego butterflies in a brand new color? Well, I'm going to be honest, I like those purple butterflies. So yeah, those are a keeper for me. They even have them in cool yellow too. So, And that's it. We're done with that. And so far, this is isolated. All right, my goal is to see if how many people can build this set. Well, so far, I'm working on the second model, and if they're not tied together, it means there'd be two. And it says this thing can go up to three people. But I'm hoping there'd be more. What if you have a family of six, like the Brady Bunch? I mean, are they all going to be able to pitch in? We don't know. Oh, and yes, I've also been working on... Uh, next year's projects. I'm already seven projects in. These are little builds right now and usually the first quarter or two of the year I always start off with very small stuff. Usually accessories for ladder builds and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what it is. I tell you, I just got done with some evaluations today, and I, <laughs> I am tired of looking at computers. Each one of these evaluations from my work takes about an hour, and they're not fun to do, and they're just time consuming. <laughs> I could be playing video games or something, but I can't. I got to get that stuff done first. So, yeah, you know. I got my new graphics card installed, and I tell you, I'm glad now I got that updated when I did. It's doing work by hand, or just everything's just kind of slow. It's just not fun to to do. So. The thing about these succulents, or not succulents, well, these, well, I guess they could be, uh, these type of botanical sets, is these are always relaxing. They're meant for, and Lego a slogan on these is to kind of relieve stress, you know, in these type of builds. So that's pretty much what they're doing here. And for me, they're not a bad build. You know, if you're willing to cough up the time and the dough. <laughs> but for me personally, these are not bad sets. And these are good for, like, decorating a cubicle or an office or something. If you just don't have something. If you have a room that doesn't have a lot of color, you know. <laughs> and, yeah. And I've bought a few of these uh, 
you know, everybody's asked me, hey, where do you get those? And I'm like, oh, you know, I, I, I review them and stuff. Oh, cool. Are they available in stores? I'm like, yeah, go, go out and go grab one. And I wish Lego would give us for commission for advertising these. Although I get to keep the set for free, so I guess that's the least I can do, huh? Yeah, they come with these dark orange hood pieces and stuff. You have a lot of dark orange pieces in here. A lot of these parts can be good for furniture. So I'm kind of glad to see them in here. Okay, and it's quiet. The computer's off. <laughs> you know, I am tired of looking at screens. I know some people just love the screens. And, uh, I kind of want to just not look at them. So there's your flower pot there. It's not too bad, huh? Let's see, I'm at 30%. That's 100% there. I think 30 is pretty good. Cold, warm. All right, I'll tell you. That ring light, I've noticed my videos are just oversaturated, so I'm learning how to set the lighting up a bit better. And we got something to read here after this. We're not quite done with the pot yet. And I'm ready for Lego to release for their botanical collection herbs. <laughs> Maybe a cannabis plant or something. I probably won't get that lucky. Let's get something to read here. Have you ever considered learning the art of growing bonsai trees? Jade plants grow quickly and they're very accommodating and can easily be trimmed to your liking. Oh, is this a bonsai plant? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I, you're asking someone who doesn't really know anything about plants. I mean, I just know like grass and stuff like that that you can plant in the ground and all that stuff. But, yeah. I think that goes in there. Let me make sure before I do something silly. Yeah. We'll leave it in there then. <laughs> Why not? We're going to see what happens. So if my voice sounds kind of whiny or crackly, I'm getting a little tired. I may not do all this in one sitting, but I think I'm going to combine all these in one video. Reason being is... So, when I go and edit these, they're just one contingent, you know. Now, if this had 800 pieces, I'd split it down the middle. It's 758, so. Here we go, right there. We gotta make eight of these. You gotta use some of these little green, what I call old people's hats. You get, you get eight of those in here so far. And, just, you know what, let's put the stud things together first. All right. I hear old hooters out there just hooting away. That's how I know it's uh, fall. Time I think of an owl, I always think of fall. And owls out here, you know, they're not out here pretty common. I think I'm putting some of these on wrong. Hey, those owls are keeping the rat population down. There we go. And you put the hats on with the bill, ooh, round pieces here, with the bill going inwards. And then we'll read, there's some information we'll read here in a second. Yeah, so I mean, as far as for that Lego house, I haven't started it yet. I haven't started the van yet or anything. The bus I started just 
didn't have the correct parts. I thought, oh, I'm going to have that bust done. That'll be my next tutorial. Maybe I'm glad I didn't get it done because uh, this set came in. I still got another review I got to finish up before I can really get into this one here. So, uh, yeah, I, you know, this one's not due for f like two weeks, but I want to get it done quickly. I got another set that I have to build after this one, but it's a really small one, too. So I'm going to be just kind of cranking out sets left and right here. It hasn't gotten too bad yet. So I'm just hoping it doesn't get too carried away where I'm kind of... All right, so things are already breaking off. Let me pull that out of there then. Um, now it's already 2 o'clock. Nice, I think you're going to have to hold on to it like that and stick it in there. That's something bad about these protanicals. Uh, sometimes they just fall apart. <laughs> I'd open up my window so we can hear the owl go hoot, but my allergies have been pretty nasty, and I've been, since I've been doing a lot of demoing around the house, and dust is going to get stirred up, I'm, my asthma's been flaring up, so I'm trying to keep it under control. And yes, we're still running the air in mid-October. It either is in the 70s, or it's in the 100s. That's kind of it's kind of cool, huh? All right. And then we take this. Somebody had told me that this is illegal. Sticking them in like that. Well, Lego does it. So, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> so just, you know, build it the way you like. You don't have to follow the instructions. Some people say you got to. No, you don't have to follow the instructions. Just do it as the way you want. At the end of the day, it's all about the Lego hobby. And this fits on like that. That's kind of pretty, huh? All right. A little more info here. Extra, extra, read all about it. Flat cap in a new color. To replicate the thick leaves of the jade plant, we use eight Lego flat caps. First seen in the newspaper Kid Collectible Lego minifigure. Well, they could have kept it there, but it's not a bad idea for leaves. And the beauty about these botanical sets is you can do that. Okay, now this goes in here. We're going to have to be very careful, so I'm going to put my finger on top of that. Just kind of get that thing in there and set that down. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> and that is what we have remaining for bag one. All right, we're going to move on to bag two, and I think this is just a single plant in this one here, but so far, these are isolated. So, so far we can go up to two people to build these. Lego recommends one to three. So far it's at two. All right, here we go. And yes, this is keeping my interest so far. It's, it doesn't feel repetitive or anything like that. So hopefully it'll stay like that. Yeah, my breathing's starting to get pretty lousy. Um, I'm not really tired. It's just... I need a palate cleanser. I need to relieve my stress from work stuff. So, it's the beauty of Lego. Let's hope this is, set's going to live up to its name here. Prevent me from stressing out over work issues. 
I get some red shales too. Looking for a two by two green plate. So that's how your clip should look. Now I've noticed, reading the comments on here, a lot of people get stumped on botanical sets. Now I'm by all means not a professional, right? I build my own stuff. I don't really like following the instructions. But you get into more of these advanced sets like this, just take your time. You know, just take a breather. You know, you're, you're in no big hurry to get all this done in one sitting. So, just take it, just take it easy. Because at the end of the day, you want to enjoy the build. You don't want to rush through it. That's kind of interesting. All right, so we've seen these before in the log cabin set. And now we're going to be making four of these. So I'm going to make me a model real quick here. And then now we're going to make three more of those. Yes, I hear you, Mr. Al. Just don't be by my window doing that nonsense. <laughs> I mean, uh, yes, I'm working from home, and I took a nap later on this evening, which I shouldn't have, so that's why I'm kind of kind of wired up a little bit. I just, you know, sometimes I'm watching a movie or something. You can tell how great the movie is, and I'm just dozing off. In fact, I'm still, what, two or three episodes behind in The Walking Dead, the one with uh, Daryl, I think his name is Daryl Dixon, I believe. So I've been kind of watching that on and off. Um, you know, my family prefers to watch it on television. I prefer to stream all my stuff. So it's easy for me to sit down and watch a show. So that's what it's going to look like on the top there. Let's see if we can replicate. So they're using this parabolic ring here. They're going to, we're going to put them on the 45 degree angle ones and like that. Okay, so we got to do that four times. Today I was between breaks and stuff. I've been kind of testing vacuum bulbs, and I've been kind of throwing a, a bunch of them in a recycle bin. So I'm going to take them down and have them recycled. And we got to get that done because I don't want to. Uh, Certain tubes that are valuable, they're only valuable if they're working. And like some of your uh, globe tubes and stuff like that, I have a couple of those that will work. I found two that didn't work, but I'm not going to toss them. But your standard uh, compactron tubes, I've been kind of, oh, these are dead. They got open filaments, they're gone. And. You know, you, you can't keep everything, and it just, so I just take them and put them in a big box, and once I get a couple of big boxes, and you just take them down to the recycles place and let them have them. Sometimes these guys look at me weird, like, wait, what are you doing with all these vacuum bulbs? <laughs> I restore old stuff. Sometimes I'll see old stuff at the recycle place, but they won't let me take it home. Oh, it's here to be recycled, and, you know, it's like, you know, I'll throw some cash, but they, they don't want cash for it. They just want to throw it in the 
in the dumpster. The dumpster's not going to give any money for it. I think that's how it's supposed to go in like that. Yep. How I know is it matches the picture. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, uh, the thing about doing these sets is you want to relieve stress. That's why a lot of us adults get into the Lego hobby. I always get asked, you know, what possesses an adult to get into Lego? You know, this is supposed to be for little kids. Now, Lego has an adult price tag. I mean, things are expensive. And two, uh, I want to put things together that doesn't require glue or anything. And that looks pretty good so far. You know, and... Well, I'm having a hard time finding a sand green tile, so what are we going to do? Start sorting parts. Okay, there we are. I found it. I think I got five weeks left until vacation starts. I cannot wait. I probably will most likely be here for the majority of the time and doing Lego stuff. But for me, you know, it's just it's Lego, I can come back to it later. Although there's some out there that says you're nuts if you pass up on set offers. I think I've only declined maybe six or so just this year. And now I'm, I got some free time. I've been remanaging a lot of work, so um, I'll be accepting a lot more. Let's hope they trickle them in like they're doing now. Because like when Lego trickles you sets in, I can spend more time and give a better assessment on the build you know I don't want to rush through it because it degrades my experience a bit more you know. Oops. so I'll probably review this thing well, later on the day when I wake up, of course. Yeah, so far it's a... Um, I'm going to say that the building guide is averagely paced. You're not racing to get things done you're not doing one piece at a time some steps require it but this one here's got a bunch of parts right now i mean we got to make four of these little boogers that's what we got to do so the happy plant can have a nice pot to call home yeah i got a couple of new ideas i want to build for next year I don't know if I'm going to have a campground next year or a campground build. I don't know what I'm going to do yet about that. Okay, it fits up like that. Okay. Time I see a text box. I know we're going to be talking about maybe a part that we're using. Probably these, and these are dark orange. Pretty cool. So I'm going to see if we can. I want to try to get this one done tonight. If not, that's fine. I think, you know, I'll just continue. What I'll do is I'll just tack on the video on these. I always like to do them in one sitting just to get get the set out of the way. All right, and then these fit right in here. 
Oh, it's kind of kind of smooth there, huh? That's pretty good. I just stick them in there with the flat tile up. They fit right in there. Yeah, I mean. So I'm going to say that this set here is definitely a collaborative build. Lego says it is. It goes up to three players or three builders. I think it can go up more than three on this. Like I hadn't even brushed my teeth or anything like that before bed. <laughs> so probably do that after I get done with bag two. Or floss first, I don't know. All right, put that in there. We got something to read here. It's kind of cool, huh? It's got some weight to it. Lace leaves are susceptible to pest, like. Amphids and spider mites. Having a hungry ladybug in the pot is a good way to keep your plant healthy. Oh, a ladybug, huh? Oh. All right, well, how are this going to go in there? Let me put it the way that I see it here. Now, of course, you don't have to copy the way. Boy, that just feels kind of, these are kind of loose, so be careful with that. That's just, I don't know, it's just not really sturdy. That's how it's supposed to look in there. And then, they have a ladybug tile. I didn't mention it in the unboxing, but there it is. Kind of cool. Alright, so that's what they were talking about, the ladybug. Whoops, that just came off a little bit. I think that's it. And this one goes right here. All right. You may also know Lace Leaf or Authorinum, I can't pronounce that, by one of its many other names. For example, Flaming Flower or Painter's Palette. We love the abundance of alterations here. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Now we're looking for another one of those one by two rounded plates. If we can't find it, we'll start pulling the leaves away. Did the manual eat it? Yes, it did. That's exactly where it went. I'm going to stick that on there first, then stick that and push it up. Well, these are just barely hanging in there. I don't think this is going to be a really sturdy build. <laughs> I see some guys who, who literally complain over these sets. Why does Lego make these? Well... Uh, yeah. Just why do I make the stuff I do? You know, so this is kind of like why does Lego make this stuff? Because there's people there who enjoy building this stuff here. And I'm trying to get that tooth in there. It's a little bit of a chore, but you can get that in there. And this just sits right here. Oh, you know what I notice? I'm cutting you guys off here. Okay. I think this is one of the tallest here. I think this one's like six and a half inches. Yeah, that's the one we're working on here. So it's six and a, it's six and a half inches or 16 point something centimeters tall. 
That's not too bad. At least we're doing a large one. We gotta make two of these here. So what I'm gonna do, start fabricating them both right now. So who's all ready to hit the waves, huh? <laughs> and then on the top, we flip them back over and we stick the carrot stems in there to lock all that in. There we go. And those go on these number one one by two rounded plates well if i can pick them up best thing to do is maybe just wiggle that in there this i'm afraid this is just going to come apart so once i get them on there that's it i ain't gonna that's that's it <laughs> um so i'm gonna just try to pre wiggle these things in there you go. We'll see how that slid down there. Be very careful. I mean, this is very fragile. This is not going to be... Um, I notice it's dark right here versus right here. I think the camera's blocking the lights. I mean, next time, see if I can bolt the light below it. All right. I mean, we're almost done with this booklet, too. So we gotta make two of these little shell things. I like these red shells. I don't know what I'd use them for, but I mean, if you're building a beach thing, they'd be pretty cool to have. There's only three manuals, too. See, I can stop right now after I get done with this and break the video. You know, I may be inclined to do that. And the reason being is I'm not editing big, massive two-hour videos. So I think what I'm going to do, we're going to break it down into build installments like that. Usually I don't break the sets like that, but I think we're going to break in manual form. And so if somebody's watching this to troubleshoot their, their build... She or he can, can do so without having to go skim through two hours of content. You know, if they're stuck on booklet one and they're, you know, they're stuck on booklet one, I think it might be better to do that anyways. And then, of course, the third part will be the review. Yeah, because I'm starting to get a little klutzy here, so I'm going to... Probably call it a night here once I get this built. Get these two done here. Uh, the only bad thing about, or I could just tack them all down there. So, uh, flip it over. We got we got a little text thing we got to read here in a second. To capture the iconic ridged flower of the lace leaf, we use Lego clamshell elements in a new color. Well, I wouldn't say it's a new color, just... Oh, and by the way, though, if you're looking for oddball colored parts, this set's got you covered. <laughs> so, let that be known, if you're looking for something very oddballed, just even for a part out, let me hold on. This is supposed to go like that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and break this set down into three installments. And I'll look and edit and see how much I've have I filmed. I just don't want to sit and 
and just, you know, sit in here all day and do that. I think that might be better just to break it down into manuals. Yeah, cool yellow flowers. This is this is a nice color for these flowers, so. Alrighty. And we put those make sure here. Yeah, okay. So these go on here like right in here. Well, you cannot see what I'm doing, huh? <laughs> so you just stick those in there. Like that. Hold down here just for added security. And that's pretty right there. And, yeah, you see all these extra pieces? This is what we have remaining for bag two. And I think I may just go ahead and just shotgun this whole thing. It'll be indexed anyways. And, yeah, we just finished up booklet number one. Not too bad. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and proceed on. Yeah. Booklet one, now we're going to do booklet two. Now, it doesn't matter what order you do the books in. And we'll set this back over here. And I don't think that's going to be sturdy. We'll put that over at the very end. And I think that's what we're going to be building next. And carnivorous plants. So we're building the Venus flytrap, the red sundew, and the yellow pitcher plant. Those are pretty. And then we just jump right on in. So, so far, you know, you can, up to three people can build, including this one, be actually four. So I think we're going to be, be a nice little, little group project. So just imagine, it's taking me about 20 minutes to finish up per piece. So I'm saying probably if you had... Let's say there's eight plants, you get eight people to build, and it'll take you 20 minutes to put the whole thing together. So that means I'll be doing this late tonight, but... And so far the build is pretty interesting, so it's not like it's dull or boring. Some pretty interesting colors in here. I gotta remember to really force this thing down. It's not sitting. Well, this one fit all the way in. You know, honestly, these would make great planters if you can get these in like medium stone gray or dark red. You can use this for like planters in your city or something too. I mean, like, like a little flower bed would be pretty cool. All right. The Venus flytrap has sensor hairs around its two leaves that trigger its trap when an insect touches the hairs. It will cause the jaws to close and capture the prey inside. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's how those things usually work. All 
think these things are kind of put in sloppy here. Yeah, I'm going to try to get a few of these leaves. It doesn't really say how those go in, but I'm trying to match the picture. These were locking them in. I wish I knew the retail price of this set. I don't, unfortunately. So your guess is as good as mine here. I still get that question, why don't I work for Lego? It'd be kind of cool, but then again, it'd be a job just like anything else, you know. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to read the little text on these until we're done building the set. And that's kind of a pretty color combination there. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to wheeze. That's not good. Yeah, I had to... <laughs> I had to fill out my paperwork for my health care coverage. And if you've ever navigated one of those type of websites, they're not fun. They're not designed for the average person to read through them. And I'm just kind of just like, why can't they make it simple? I mean... I'm, I'm, I, well, I would say I'm lucky I only visit the doctor maybe once every few years. I need to go down and get a physical still. At least it covers it, but, yeah. I'm not really fond of going to those places, but. So they did this, like here. So I think these are supposed to touch the back like that. That's what the book shows here. I don't think you have to, but. Like that. All right, see what that's about there. Does this piece, does this piece used to the jaws of the flytrap menu anything? The element was originally designed as an icing for a cake. They're referring to this lime green here. This is the first time it has been used in lime green. Yeah. Uh, I was placing an order for parts, and I think I have dark green, but, yeah, well, now we have that. Well, I didn't see it in pick a brick because it, technically, this part doesn't exist yet. Yes, it's kind of, kind of nice. Oh, this is already done here. So this is the fly trap part, so it's like this. So we're done with that one. That's pretty, though. Sometimes I hate when you get a, like a topic that pops up into mind and it's positive, but it always stirs up some sort of drama. It's like, oh, that'd make a great little topic to discuss in one of these, but then again, this flower powder almost looks like that's the same thing we were building here. I think we're going to be building a bunch of these. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, well, start sorting out parts here. Remember I was doing something else with these two. And the last one, they were kind of almost the same. So that's what I'm going to do here. Just stick those in there now so I don't lose them. And then now I can come in here and Yeah, 
heavy. Just getting lots of work ready for the... You notice when you're ready to take time off, work just comes and piles in. It's like, why does it do that? Because it's mean, that's why. And it's work that I assign myself for, for my day job. These two are a little different, so we're going to just take two of these. I'm going to set these up here. Oh yeah, we've been watching webcams. I'm kind of at the Venice Beach Hotel. They have a, a live webcam. <laughs> Sometimes you can see some pretty colorful characters on those things. Well, I'm putting this in the wrong place. Let me peel that off there. That just disintegrated. So be careful which one if you're doing what I'm doing here. So we've been kind of kind of watching the cameras and a friend of mine got me hooked to this one in Philadelphia. Yeah, it's call it tweaker cam. Those are always interesting to watch. <laughs> No, I don't partake in those activities. Oh, we got more text to read here. And then, it's obviously something special, but these are common parts that we've seen before, so... The carnivorous plant uses thousands of tiny hairs, each tip with its deed of sticky liquid trap its prey. Once the insect is stuck in the leaves, they will curl inwards around the unsuspecting little bug. So, just some random thing in there, huh? Plants that eat insects. Oh, maybe I should get a couple of those around the house. We have mosquito problems out here right now, like hardcore. And about five, four or five o'clock at night, you really can't go outside without getting bitten. So it's kind of, kind of what it is. And you're not going to believe this. We have dark red hairbrushes. I've never seen hairbrushes in this color. So that means the book's probably going to talk about them. Almost every one of these hairbrushes is bristles up and it's almost hard to pick them up here. There we go. And we stick three of these in here. And after those are in there, don't breathe or anything. That's bad. And you're going to have to slip a stud on top of that and straighten those out. It's so fun. There we go. Like that. Kind of get that really forced down in there. I don't want that coming apart. It's kind of cool. And then we stick this there. I think that's how it's supposed to go in. Pinky Palix made the leaves of the sunflower flower first in this color. It happened to have the Lego. Captain Redbeard's minifigure, you could turn him into Captain Pinkbeard. 
Yeah, maybe we should, but I don't have that many figures, so we can't do that. No, I don't have it. And yeah, so if this is kind of boring for some of you, you know, I feel free to fast forward. I'm just documenting all my all my builds. That's why I call it Archives of Jay, but I gotta come up with something more than that. It just the name sounds kinda kinda stale. I need to you know, maybe Jay builds or building with Jay, I don't know. I mean, you basically are building along with me, or you're watching along. So I know some of you watch just merely for entertainment. So and then those go on the remaining areas here. We didn't even talk about the little hairbrushes. They're in this weird color. No, we had to talk about the pink shoulder things that we don't care about. right there could it be yes those are actually little Lego hairbrushes yeah we kind of figure that by now all right and that my friends is what we have remaining for bag three well I'm not quite tired of that so we're gonna continue on with bag four and so far at least we got some color in the background there. Bag four looks like it just builds a plant. So, so far you see right here we can go up to five people. Boy, this looks like deja vu. We're doing the same plant, or again we did a couple of bags back yeah that reminds me uh, get some time this week I gotta get I gotta put some tar on my roof uh, around where the dry rot was at and I got all that replaced but the uh, asphalt shingles didn't adhere down when the house was re-roofed years ago, they laid down this asphalt stuff onto my patios. My patios are like wrapped in stucco and all that stuff. And they hot tarred it and stuff on the top. Well, it didn't adhere to the little lip. That's what caused it. So I gotta go up there, I got a, a caulking gun and I'm gonna have to inject some around the edge there. Just do some preventative maintenance around the house. Uh, anybody owns a home, <laughs> yeah, you got chores you have to do. It just never stops. All right. You know, when you, if you're watching this and you're a kid, yeah, you got to sign yourself chores when you get older. That's just how it is. I thought that would go down in there all the way. I hope there's not going to be anything big in there. Of course, I can't. Let me just shove that in and see if I can get that down in there further. I think that's as far as it goes down. Okay, so the planter is almost the same as the last one we did. Except this one's got different colors inside, but they're essentially the same. I gotta make four of those little boogers. Oh, you really can't see that, huh? Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tip this down here a bit. And that's a little too low. 
Sometimes these screens have a little bit of lag. All right. Yeah, but this set's got a lot, a lot of oddball colored stuff. I mean, a lot of guys that I know do not buy these. They think they're a waste of money, they're a waste of time. If you're not really into the theme, yeah, I understand, but man, these things sure got some pretty good parts. And that's the whole, you know, the whole premise of doing these type of videos is not that you can watch me build, but we can also see a part and discuss about it too. Yeah, I'm getting all these prepared here. All right. And then, of course, the same thing. You put it on the 45-degree angled ones. What I call the corners here. You don't get them quite center, you're going to have to wiggle and jiggle things around just to kind of line them up. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look on the top. Now we got to build four of these little things again. So it's almost like you're going to be doing the same thing each round. If there's nine plants per building guide, that's not too terribly bad. I think that's essentially what we're doing, is nine plants. Um, well, yeah, because we're on five right now, we're finishing up six. And I think that's probably the best thing here. Oh, um, video quality. I guess now YouTube, you got to pay for higher quality videos now why I don't know and you know I try to put mine uncompressed up on YouTube you know for you to have a better experience and you have to be like a you you have to use YouTube premium to get all that and and that's so if you if you're looking at my YouTube going oh I have to pay for this no that's not what I don't, I don't think I get any of that money from that. Or maybe I, I do get a cut, maybe, but just for something very basic as 60 frames per second uncompressed, that's just, you know, I want you to see something very smooth on the screen. You know, most people watch on a phone or a mobile device, but you know how YouTube is sometimes with their silly things. Okay, the clip goes on the bottom like that. So now it's already three o'clock. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'm a night owl, you know, because you know why? You know, some people say, well, why do you stay up late? You know, what's the point of that? Well, it's quiet. It's quiet and. I don't have to get up and answer the door. There's no phones going off. I used to have roommates here. I said, I would say the reason why I do them at night, no, I said, I don't have no doorbells, phones, barking dogs, or screaming children. And that's what it is. <laughs> now it's, um, uh, that's how it goes pretty much. Okay, they go on here like that. I was looking at that wrong. Yeah, I kind of just, something that kind of popped up in my mind here just now. Um, I used to go camp, and sometimes we'd camp in the rain or in the snow. I got to thinking I may end up doing something like that. Having snow-covered campground with a no. So for next, well, if I decide to do the campground next year, I'm going to use the tent that I built. 
in the tiny house. The tiny house would be for the campground host. And um, I mean, some short one camper. I already have a camper that I want to build. Uh, actually, it's a camper that I built, but never have made a tutorial on it. And I thought it'd be kind of cool. So that'd be one of the vehicles for next year. And I'm hoping to, you know, get that started. You know, this year was kind of planned weird because I was saving all the big stuff for last and kind of backfired. So now I'm kind of trying to grow a brain here. And I'm going to start a, try to do one vehicle a month. You may not see some for a few months, but like right now I'm trying to get done with this year's stuff, so that's my focus. It's two vehicles in a, in a car, or two vehicles in a house. I'm still getting those questions. Where's the new house builds at? I'm like, hell, you're gonna have to wait for them. No, it's not the sets. They're in my way. This has got parts for furniture, so there you go. And then this goes in here. Of course, make sure your studs are up on top. Yeah, but this is a very relaxing build. I just wish I can get more people to help me out with these. I always have a few of my fans, you know, comment, can we hang out? Sorry, but no. I'd probably put you to sleep anyways, but nah. I still have, to this day, have never met anybody online since I've been doing Lego stuff. Some friends, a lot of acquaintances, and haven't met anybody yet. Just about done. Okay. And then, well, flat tiles to kind of make it round. It's almost like the pipes that they use in like Super Mario Brothers. Boing, 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 honk, honk, honk. And you go down inside the pipe and you go down into the underworld. Okay. You gotta hold your breath when you put those in. So I'm not pushing on the sides here, I'm just pushing on this right here. And my finger's right in the middle. Just kind of push that really down in there firm. It would have been better if we put those in. We had that top off. These round two by two plates with the single stud or jumper plates, whatever you want to call them. All right. Nothing is more refreshing than a picture of digestive enzymes. The cups of these plants are Fill with digestive juices to break down the informative insects that fall in. Oh, it sounds like that that creature in Empire Strikes Back that you would get digested in over what is it, ten thousand years? Yeah, I'm starting to do this in my building guides, too. You know, towards the end of these... Oh, yes, you get some lime green brooms, too. Towards the end of these, though, you notice you're... Um, you're putting together multiples of an item. Well, I sure don't stay in there very well. 
the flare is supposed to stick outwards and then your sticks on the other side I see some text that's probably going to talk about this part here and then we use one of these type of helmets I don't know which way the big side's going to be in, so we're just going to have to guess. And yes, that's uh, spring green. So we're going to put the high end closer to the flare on the, the thing. I don't know. Just You can stick them any way you want. <laughs> uh, you know, I always get the questions asked, Jay, I don't build sets right. Am I doing it wrong? Are you having fun building the set? Well, yeah, then, no, you're not doing it wrong then. Regardless of what people say, if you're building something and you're enjoying the build, that's all that matters. Oh, you're going to have to stick these in there. Sticking a stud inside there is going to be a challenge. So you got to stick a stud inside those hats. So... Good luck getting those out of there when you're done. I have to probably use a pair of hemostats just to kind of extract that. Get that out of there. We got two things of text, so that tells me we are going to be talking about the hats and stuff. Alright. No, 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 we're not done yet. Yeah, the other day I was on my phone texting and I felt something pinch my hand. It was a stupid mosquito. It was a big guy just sitting there just sucking the life out of my hand right here. And I was like, really? I was just sitting there and I just felt this little pinch. And sure enough, the mosquitoes. What happened is this lake out here filled up. And... Water's kind of gotten stagnant in there, so yeah. Read that. Interesting element alert. The pitcher plants use an explorer helmet and bright spring green for the opening of the pitcher and the lime green broom head for the stock. All right. So yeah, they already figured that out. And... Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. I messed up here. I didn't finish it all the way. We gotta put these on here, too. So, the only thing I'm gonna say is about these is there is repetitive steps in here, too. So... Um, if you're not a fan of repetitive steps, this is... Yeah, I mean, at least I'm being honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you, and I put them on backwards. Um, I got to take those off. So I got them backwards here. Uh, it's repetitive, so you know, two's company, three's a crowd. Well, see how that's falling apart. I mean, I'm already the set right now. I've already had this happen a few times. So I'm already dinged it down to probably like a 9.5. It's basically, it's not the instructions or anything like that. It's parts flaking off while building. And I know some will say, well, Jay, you've got you to gotta script these better. Well, that is scripting them. Let's make sure that these face inwards here. This is probably the juice, as they were talking about in there. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? And that is what we have remaining. But don't go yet, because... 
surprisingly, the leaf that grows above the pitcher cannot move, and leaf of the pitcher instead, it prevents rain from entering and diluting the liquid within. Yeah. And that's it for building guide number two. Okay, now we're going to move on to booklet three, or bag five. At least we're doing something with blue now. I'm tired of building greens. And so we have arid plants. And it looks like we're building the Britain's liver... Liver, something like that. I don't know. I'm getting tired. And then we have the Eastern Pickle Pear and the Pincushion Cactus. I've seen those before. All right. So, and you get tired, you start slowing down here, and that's what we're doing. And let's keep going here. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up so I can get it reviewed. And, and we'll just run through. I'm not going to run through the whole review. Really, you know, because the notes are pretty much all the same. You know. Of course, I'm reviewing as I go. So pretty much you're making the same pots. You're making, you know... So I think each booklet has three uh, plants, so we're going to have a total up to nine. So I think nine people can build the set at the same time, which is kind of cool. I mean, the only difference is these pots have different colors inside of them. shove these in as I go like this. It's easier. I hate when you're you want to build something and you're just fighting through all the little pieces to get to the or the big pieces to get to the one little piece. There you go. And then Easier if I shove this on here first, then shove this in here. Spring green pieces. Oh yeah, there is some printed stuff in here, but we'll get. I'll show you that when we get to that point. So yeah, there's a lot of oddball colors in here. probably the only blue that's in this whole set. <laughs> and this colorful succulent. Ooh, succulent. This colorful succulent was named after Nathaniel Lord Britton, an American bi botanist who f first categorized the Douglaia genus. Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, some people think I can't read Nah, I'm just tired. I did enough reading today. I don't want to do any more. Just something to kind of read the excerpts out of the book. Yeah, just before I started this build here, I went and brushed my teeth finally, so I'm ready for bed. So all I gotta do now is just work on this here. Oh, there's another type of blue. So we get this light royal blue, and we also have the aqua blue too. Probably the only blue in this whole set. And then you just shove that right in those little stubs there. Well, that's if I can get the little stubs on straight. Well, 
Well, I can't even get it in there, so it'll take several tries. There we go. Like that. I think that's done there. To capture the nice gradient of the spike leaves, we added a new color for the one by one plate with the tooth. So if you have any Lego animals in your house, you can always give them a lovely light lavender teeth. Yeah, exactly. But I'm gonna use those light lavender teeth for for valances for drapes and curtains and stuff. And there's that one. And now we're moving on to the next plant. Seat on right now. Yeah, but that Venice Beach webcam. Sometimes in the daytime it's kind of normal, but at night it's a whole different beast. Sometimes you'll hear somebody arguing with somebody in there and using some really fun language to listen to. You know, those webcams are always fun to, to watch. And we're back at this again here. So, you know, it's pretty much all the same stuff at this point that we've done before. So that's, uh, it's uh, kind of, so I'm going to be honest, this now is starting to get redundant. Why? Because we're doing the same thing. It's like every step is the same pot, just a, a different plant that goes in it. It'd be nice if we made the pots first and then just put the plants in them. But I kind of see why they want to do it because it's, it's a collaborative build. So I can't just be brutal and say, oh, it fails, ding off 10 points. <laughs> All right. The plants themselves don't take a whole lot of time. All right, the single ones go on the sides with the yellow, and the ones with the plates with slides go on the gray sides here. Yeah, so I, I know that some people say I'm pretty generous on scoring sets. That's just how I feel about the set at that time, you know. I mean, I'm not lying about it, but everybody's build preferences are different. You know, when I do these, I was gonna do a close-up shot, but as small as these are, I could probably put these on a turntable. I don't know, we haven't, I haven't gotten that far yet, but I'm thinking too far ahead here, but. And now we're messing with spring green, and yes, those tiles are printed. Probably for the cactus, but they make great seat cushions. Why on earth, Jay, would you make a seat cushion out of those? Well, they would just look like a decorative pattern for a seat, like, for, like a bar stool. I mean, why not? Yeah, the other day I was watching Red Dawn, the new version, not the 80s version. It was, YouTube had it free with ads, so I thought, oh, I may as well just give it a whirl. 
So I watched it, and, you know, <laughs> it's a remake, but that's a remake that was done pretty well. And you never know, that could happen. I mean, look at all the stuff that's going on right now. And that's essentially what you're building there. It's kind of ugly looking, but... All right. When we get to this, I'll show you here. It's kind of interesting how they did this. So we just put these tiles on here with the prints. So Lego um, could not make this any smaller, so they had to print the pieces. And that's fine by me. And see that right there? It had the... Use the red arrows to show you have to swiggle them. Didn't think about doing that in mine. The round printed 2x2 two two tiles are a new sandy green color and features a new spiky to, to capture the look of a Easton prickly pear. Ooh, scary pear. Okay, so you just bend it. And... One way to do it is by looking at the picture on the book and just bending things. Does it have to line up? Well, if you go OCD like I am, yeah, it matters. And I think it is one-to-one. -one. Looks like it's pretty close. So you have to bend it like that. And we stick one of these little, I always call it a cavity full tooth inside this thing. And you don't want to step on these at night. I stepped on these one time by mistake. Man, that hurt. And I learned now not to do it. It hurts worse than getting, getting pricked by the cacti. Did you know that the prickly pear fruit is edible? And so are the big green pads. Just to be sure to remove the spines before eating. Oh, I like eating those because it goes down extra rough. You know, I mean, you got to have really pretty harsh, spicy food. So that just broke off. Well, I'll stick that back down in there. And just kind of kind of rotate and tweak it. But there you go uh, for that. And let's see here. And that's essentially what we have remaining for bag five. Alrighty, now we're going to move on to bag six. And this will be the last one we do. And as you can see up on the counter here, what you can tell, it actually adds color. Woo! I have to save the big one for last. Okay, well let's get our hands dirty here. We got one more left to do. That's probably another 10, 15 minutes. These don't take too long. There's nine plants in total, so you can have up to nine people. So, you know, provided if a few builders in your party want to download the building guide. And the build's balanced to the point of you do three per, per guide. So I'd say comfortably three, but if you want to stretch it out to nine, it is possible. You know, every time that I start, I want to open up a new bag. It's always fun. <laughs> the workbench is very cluttered and I have to have to declutter. See, we're building another one of these pots. So you're building like three of each one of these pots. Okay, and then, alrighty, we need to break our red cross axle. There should be one in there because it's bright red. That, that thing should just stick right out. Alright. And then a two by two round plate. Stick that right in there. All right. 
Now we're doing the lime green things for these. I'm just going to stack these together now. Yeah, I'm kind of in a music listening mood. Uh, first off, everybody's in bed, and two, the copyright police will get me if I do. I was watching something, how musicians are starting to fill the pinch, and I'm like, I don't feel sorry for them, because you don't allow us to... A lot of these guys, they have their music on YouTube. I'm okay with it. That's how I know. It, it, YouTube is like my radio. Okay. But there's some out there, including myself, who don't listen to radio. It's crap. And I'm going to bluntly say it. When I was a kid, 80s music was great. 90s music was starting to take a turn. And now you turn on the radio. You know, it's not even worth mentioning. Yeah, I need to get some more of these here. Okay, we built enough of these. We already know how they go together. You, you, you start getting to the hang of how to put them together, and then you just kind of start working blindfolded here. Okay. Yeah, but I know there will be somebody watching this that will probably get stumped on a few areas. And hey, you know what? I'm not going to make fun of you. That's quite all right. Even I get stumped on some of the bigger sets. You know, I, I, I sometimes will hear, oh, I could put that together in one sitting without making a mistake. Really? If you're working very slow, you probably could. If you're like me and you're trying to get them done in a hurry so you don't want to spend all your free time working on sets. You know, I was going through some of my building guides. As my building guides have improved since I have, you know, I first started backing up my stuff in digital form. And yeah, it's almost like reading a Lego building guide now at this point. a good half of these parts or just to build the pot alone. <laughs> Alright, we know how these go on now. The stick goes on the bottom. And if you stick it on the wrong way, it'll just look like that. So that's how you would know. Just make sure that this piece is on the bottom here. Yeah, I'm already ready for turkey dinner, because I know here in the States we have Thanksgiving coming up. And I'm uh, going to fix a turkey dinner this year, and I am just craving for turkey. I've been craving for turkey for the last couple of weeks now, and I'm like, that does sound good. Well, except when you're having leftovers for a week, but still... <laughs> Usually we have, you know, for Christmas we have ham, which is fine, because we don't have turkey or ham that often. Uh, everybody here wants to go out and get fast food. Get takeout. When I was a kid, I loved McDonald's. Now I f freaking hate it. That's all I hear. Oh, can you, on your way home, can you stop off at McDonald's? No. I'm stopping off at Denny's to get me a meal. If you're asking me that, we'll bring this home some. I'm like, no, I'm going, I'm, I'm already dressed. I'm going out and getting a bite to eat. That's what I do. And yes, yeah, some people get angry, but, you know, you, you work 10 to 12 hours. 
you're, you're starving, so you just get a... Or sometimes I'll stop off at a... Like a buffet. All you can eat. And just load the plate down. And <laughs> just go... Go crazy on it. It's like breakfast, you know. I don't know what I'm going to have for breakfast later on today. See, we're not even done building the pot yet. <laughs> we're still building the, the pot. We hadn't even moved on anything else. So I'm just going to start setting pieces off here to the side. And start just start piecing this thing together. Now remember, we have to take these too and make these things. So I'm just going to start randomly start building things here, because by this point, these pots are almost identical here. Today I had a fried hamburger, a big giant fried hamburger, greasy and it was really good too. <laughs> I'm still full from dinner. Denny's and now I'm having burgers and I don't know what I'm going to do the later on in the week. We're going to need these later. I'm just kind of getting a jump start on them now. Uh, it's just easier to start building things as you go because see now I'm already done. So now I can just start um Setting these in here now. Make sure the studs are on the top. You know, these are almost like a podcast in a way. Now YouTube has this feature for podcasting. And more, I just more like vlog. I guess you could use it as a podcast. Pod podcasts are meant to be downloaded. You no, know, but YouTube, you know, they come up with these. Sometimes they have good features, but it's the way they execute them is just wrong. A lot of the tools that they give us creators never get past the testing phase and it's like, oh man, these are pretty good. And then this goes on top. Here. Okay. There's the pot. And as you can see, not a whole lot of parts left. <laughs> so, uh, that's, uh, that's essentially what we did. There and those studs over there. Okay. I'm starting to pull those out. Well, there they are. <laughs> I may see if I can get the scenic sounds to work. And then put slip them in as a backdrop on this. It's not so quiet. A lot of people put music in their videos, so I may have to do something a little different with mine. Alright. You know, I ordered a bunch of these in Earth Green, which is the really dark green. And I got them here in 
brick yellow, as well as these little small ones here. Not really a good color for the house, but I'll take what I can get. Yeah, I was thinking of, since it's Halloween, anybody remember watching the, It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown? I gotta crack my server open and watch that video. Watch that. Gar Garfield's uh, Halloween. Um, and there's a couple other ones that have Halloween specials. And yes, I still watch cartoons. Um, my favorite are the Christmas movies. Well, not Christmas yet, so we'll have to wait for those. Alright, so now we're going to have to stick a couple of these on here. But yeah, that's pretty much... Okay, those lock right in place. Um, I'm just trying to find something to put me into the spirit. I'm not... I'm not much into Halloween. You know, I do some of the Halloween stuff on YouTube, but I can't get into the to the the shindig of it. You know, it just Alright, I see it. I just gotta dig it out. I don't know what we're building here. I haven't seen any text. The book has been quiet. <laughs> it hasn't been talking to me. Okay. You can do what I do if it gets too cluttered, just start sorting. I think you guys and gals are going to like the lineup for the remainder of the year. Because right now, usually the fourth quarter is usually when I bring out the, the really big projects. I mean, we're not supposed to put that on there yet. No, that plate came off. I'm sure that goes on there. I bet those friends hair accessories are going to go right in the middle of those. That's exactly what they are. That's what I like about these little friends hair pieces. A lot of people do, I knew threw these out. They fit inside those little holes there. And you do that, you actually have different styles and different colors of flowers. You know. Why do some guys throw them away? I have no clue. Okay. And after that, I stick these depressing looking stems in there. You know, it's bright and colorful. Now we're putting brick yellow in there. I've been reading some of your comments on this channel, guys and gals. It may seem like I'm not, but... And that's where that thing fits, is right on there, and you put the stem on the top. Oh, it's not pretty yet. Several pieces of pincushion cactus grow with lovely flowers and vivid colors. And you know, those are vivid. And now we gotta make four of these. It's quiet here right now. Everybody's in bed. <laughs> I remember before, um, 
you know, I would play the radio up loud or something like that, but I can't do that now. But I miss those days. And this goes right in the middle there. And you gotta make four of these. Now we're, we're getting close to completing. And honestly though, the retention rate of the set is pretty good. It's keeping my interest. Some parts get a little repetitive, but for the most part, it is an interesting build. And these go on right here, they're right in the center between those plates. And then you're just going to have to start attaching parts. We haven't attached anything to these little stick things yet, so they're just kind of floating in there. I don't know what those are going to do yet. Probably what those parabola dishes are for. Alright. After being cataloged for the first time in date, 1920s, Mamalama, Kunya, Zelmania was largely unknown until it was rediscover it in 1988 within a specific canyon area in Mexico. 1988. Oh, wow, they rediscovered it. It's only around 10 years old at that time. All right. Okay, we got that in there. Okay, we gotta put it in the pot now. <laughs> Can I put that in there without breaking anything? You know, I think there's... No, that's just how it's supposed to fit in there, I guess. It's already 4 o'clock, and... Oh, this is going to be a challenge. I'm going to hold on the bottom. I'd be very careful putting that in there. Just push on the bottom and just... Or just put it on something flat and just... Hold it like that and wiggle it in. Whew. <laughs> Got that put in there. Oh, we're not done yet. We got yeah. We're gonna have to make some with these dishes now. Oops, we don't want to be breaking that now. Let's move that over there. Yeah, today. Uh, I had about a four hour nap or a four hour sleep and then took a, a little nap after that between jobs and it wasn't a very pleasant experience out here today. It was kind of chaotic, drama packed, you know, personal matters and I'm just like, really? Okay, and these do go on the stems here. we got one parabola left. Okay, well these these fill in this hole here. You push those in all the way, you can see and it's really finished off. This is a very interesting set, nonetheless. I mean, if you're not interested in these, you know, they're pretty cool. These botanical sets. We have one extra parabola dish. So let's take a look here. I must have forgot something, huh? We put that in there. You know, it's there. Check your work. Yeah. I got four dishes and the one in the middle, so they just gave me one extra one of these. Because I don't think the flower pot had anything because there was nothing special about that. So let me go back and check my work again. I thought maybe there was two of them on there, but there's only one. And 
Honestly, though, guys and gals, this is what you do. You just check your work. Yeah, they just gave me uh, one extra one of these. There's only five of these dishes. One, two, three, four, five. So they gave me a spare. I'm not going to complain because I can always use those extra parts. <laughs> well, last time we checked, and I'm dropping parts on the floor, but... That's what we have remaining, and we're going to jump right on into the set. This is going to be something I'm probably just going to stick on a turntable and just put all the big ones in the middle here. So we're just going to pretend here, and for the most part, it is a very unique set. It's not something kind of boring or anything. It kept my interest, so... Stick them like that. And let me get this. Uh, well, I'm going to have to raise up the legs so if you get motion sickness very easily, well, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. That's the price you pay when I don't have a turntable, though. The turntable's occupied. <laughs> So I'm not going to rip everything off of it just for this. All right now we can go back to where we were and raise this up a bit higher. Or I could have just backed out the tripod a bit more. Okay, and maybe we'll just do that. Okay, and let's tackle the focus real quick. Okay, and just by cranking up the brightness on this light here a little bit, uh, honestly, this is a nice little set. I mean, it kept my interest. And you get nine plants, okay? So, um... This is essentially just a display piece, nothing more. You get to build nine pieces. The book tells you a little history about each plant and the elements that are used. Very good for educational purposes. So start. With, let's start with the review with build quality. And I'm going to say it's probably average. And the reason being is that some of the stuff like these are pretty flimsy. The pots, some pieces were flaking off, so it's average. Um, build experience, it did keep my interest. Uh, retention ratio is pretty good. I wasn't bored with it. It's, it's the colors. The only thing it's lacking is a little bit of blues, but you know, we have this one here. We can just, there's your blue. <laughs> and honestly though, it's, it's pretty. It's meant to be as a display piece. So imagine you have a nice dining room table or a place on your cubicle, like on a filing cabinet or at your computer. This adds some color. So yeah, it's just a display piece, nothing more with that. Could you drop this into a Lego City? Maybe some of these, but... Like this would make a good little shrub for, you know, like this. You could probably use this probably uh, for a Venus flytrap for a city or uh, that, if you want to recreate, what was that movie, A Little Shop of Horrors? Oh, maybe that. Um, a lot of good, a lot of good stuff here you could use for a city. Not so much in play value. The play value is kind of lacking, but it's meant to be a shelf queen or a table hog, and that's essentially what it is. So this is meant to be a stress reliever. Now, I'm looking at collaborative on this set. This is a collaborative build. All right. So the book says one to three. Builders can build this. Obviously, I built it, so it's, you know, one person can. But the book doesn't, but Lego doesn't tell you, and the book does t doesn't even tell you. you. Each one of these is isolated. So you can have up to nine people build this set. You know, that's a lot of people, but just imagine you have a group of friends. Get this done in probably about 15, 20 minutes, but there you go. And yeah, it's a nice, bright, colorful build. 
Now for my score on this set, 9.5. Because it is collaborative build and it kept my interest, but there were some pieces falling off. That's the only thing I'm dinging off for. Everything's printed. It's bright and colorful. It kept my interest, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, it's a nice set of flowers, but it's just basically a, sh a show piece. Tell me what you think of this set. Do you think this is a pretty good set for what it is, um, for a botanical set? To me, it's uh, it's it's interesting. It's colorful. I may have to put these on display in my office.